This will be a quick tutorial on how to convert your FS19 mods to FS22 um, because there's a, a lot of new file structure changes in the XML files in the new game um, so you're going to need to edit those for the mod to actually work. Um, there's a couple people on the forums on uh, the Giants forums and they want to know how to do this but it's not that hard. Um, there probably are better ways to do it but this is the way I do it. So you need Giants editor There'll be a link in the description on how to download that. So load up your Giants editor. And you'll get the welcome uh, screen. Just close out at that. So we want to go to file, open mod, find where your FS19 mod is. Uh, where's ours? Desktop. And ensure it's zipped, by the way. It won't work if it's not zipped. So double click your working directory will be the desktop this will just say where your mod you want to convert is and then it's gonna say that the uh, mod files are from an old version of the game hit yes to upgrade files from a cloud service and here if you have FS19 installed you can put the directory there because it will take um, files that might not be in the, uh, the mod uh, and carry them over but I don't, so okay. There we go. Short conversion. This is just a migration report um, telling you of any errors that might have occurred. So it's mainly to do with the wheels and the sound. Uh, but you can go to the XML files and edit the directories of these. It's just adding two more subfolders to the existing directory in the XML, and it will it will make the uh, the wheels appear. I might make another video on that if it's requested. But you can see it successfully converted the vehicle data from the main XML and the mod description XML as well. So you can save that report or close. I'll hit close. And then here it's just saying this is the store item. It's going to load this file if you want it to. So I will. So OK. And that is your converted mod. You can see the tractor there. Lamborghini. Um, and you can see in the console here, there's a lot of uh, shader issues, but they can be resolved by finding those shaders in the actual game files. If you picked your FS19 folder, uh, your existing installation from the old game, you may not have these errors, but obviously I don't have the game installed, so it can't find these files. Uh, but you can go ahead and find those. It's just to simply uh, search in, in the um, Windows Explorer uh, and just finding like 04 normal PNG, specular PNG. Uh, but I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to hit save. That will save your file. I'll save that one as well. So now that should have, I mean, I've got two folders here, that's the old one. You should have a folder, not a zip a folder, FS19 Lamborghini or 7 converted. So that's your new folder. So right click on it. And then you need to zip it. It has to be a zip file. And you can see I've got it there. Might have done that wrong, so I'm just going to quickly sort that out. Just do that again. So highlight all the files. You just want to zip. There's your new file, uh, new mod even. There's your new mod there. And then you basically want to go to the mods folder, so documents. Scroll down to my games. It will be Farming Simulator 2022. Mods. This is a list of all your mods here. So I already have a working mod here. I've just not zipped it, so... I will be deleting these files and I'm just going to grab these files that I've already got in there and quickly zip those and you've got that so I'm just going to put it back into the main directories for the mods here and one thing to note as well is when you convert your mod when it says your FS19 um, whatever mod it is underscore converted make sure you change the FS19 to FS22 so it matches in here 
You shouldn't see an FS19 underscore file in here. It has to be FS22 for it to work. So now that that's done, we should be able to go and load up farming sim. Just let that load. Sorry if it's too loud. But to make sure it's worked, you can go to downloadable content and there it is there, look. So that's my mod installed right there. You can also go on to a game save and it should be in the list here. If not, you have done something wrong, so just go back and watch the video and make sure you followed all the steps. But that's it there, you can select it, deselect it. start here's the game here I'm gonna go to the buy menu and it should be on the large tract is this mod and there it is there look and that is it so you can see all the wheels are working because I went into the XML files and changed the file structure for these to work because um, if you don't do that your wheels won't appear but like I said if you want me to do a video on that I can I can do that. And then just to show you that it's in the game correctly. Oh, I've actually got two because I've already bought one. But um, you can see the wheels are working. And I'm currently working on fixing the way the hands move with the wheel because it doesn't turn all the way. But you can see it is working there. And that's it in the game. So if this helped, um, do leave a like, comment if you've got any issues, and I'll try and help you. Um, but yeah, thank you.